Introduction to Marketing Global Markets International Marketing Developing and Performing Marketing Activities Across National Boundaries The environmental forces that affect foreign markets may differ dramatically from those that affect domestic markets, and failure to understand them can result in significant costs. A successful international marketing strategy requires a careful environmental analysis. Social-cultural forces and economic forces. Cultural and social differences among nations can have profound effects on marketing activities. This could include beliefs and values such as family, religion, education, health, and recreation. Global marketers need to understand the international trade system and any trade barriers that may stifle marketing efforts. This could include the standard of living, credit, buying power, income distribution, national resources, and exchange rates. Political, legal, and regul regulatory forces. Businesses from different countries may be similar in nature, but operate differently based on legal, political, and regulatory conditions in their home countries. Ethical and social responsibility forces. Businesses must adapt to the cultural practices of the country they are in and use the, the host country's cultural practices as the rationalization for sometimes straying from their own ethical values when doing business internationally. Due to differences in cultural and ethical standards, May companies work both individually and collectively to establish ethics programs and standards for international business conduct. Business for Social Responsibility, also known as BSR. It tracks emerging issues, trends, and provides information on corporate leadership and best practices. It conducts educational workshops and training, and it also assists organizations in developing practical business ethics tools. Competitive Forces and Technological Forces. Each country has unique competitive aspects that are often independent of the competitors in the market. Nations establish the infrastructure and rules for the types of competitions that can take place. Advances in technology have allowed for increased international trade and made international marketing easier than ever. These are examples of alliances, markets, and agreements throughout the world that help promote free trade. There are four modes or four stages of entry into international markets. There's five levels of involvement, globalized, regional, multinational, limited, and domestic. Importing is buying something and bringing it in from another country. Exporting is selling or trading and building it and producing it in our country. Franchising is a good way to minimize the capital investment put up by the individual or company. Contract manufacturing is when a company hires a foreign firm to produce and handle the means of operation for their product. Examples include outsourcing and offshoring. Joint ventures are a partnership between a domestic and foreign firm or government. This can be very beneficial for large investments like natural resource extraction or automobile manufacturing. Global organizational structures is a way a company aims to merge local preferences with the international market. This deals with the people, the process of how global decisions are made, the function of business, culture of norms, values and beliefs, as well as the business structure as a whole. International marketing mix issues that can arise have to deal with the four P's that are product, promotion, place, and price. For example, a company might need to adapt their product or advertisement to fit the standards of a culturally different region. Global presence is the focus on marketing a product or service in the international marketplace. By adapting to different local markets and maximizing knowledge across international locations can create valuable opportunities for the business.